Hey, I'm Robert Reynolds here on DRTV, and uh, of course we're in Nashville at, uh, during the, uh, the heat of the middle of CRS, Country Radio Seminar. How are you doing, Jeremy? I'm doing fantastic, man. Still alive on day three, so I uh, feel good about it. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Jeremy, and, and uh, you know, I, I guess I feel like I know you by now from uh, previous encounters and uh, the, the way that our music business works. How is... Uh, I, I can read all the press clippings I want, but how are you feeling about what's going on? I want to hear from you. Man, you know, I'm uh, probably the most excited I've ever been. Uh, I, we, you know, we came off of my side of town, and uh, I, I restructured a lot of my deals, moved a lot of my stuff that was kind of out on the West Coast here to Nashville. And, uh, and I just really took the time, about a year and a half, to just sit and focus on writing is really what I wanted to do. I felt like I was... Um, I was kind of like a kid in a candy store on the first record, you know, where it was you're making a record that you want to sound like Radney Foster and you want to sound like this guy and you want to sound like Steve Earle and you want to, you know. And so it was finally something for me where I finally think that uh, I found out who I was and what I wanted to sound like. And, and uh, while I love the first record, man, I'm really excited about the new music. I love this notion that now you're ready to sound like Jeremy McComb, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's phenomenal to me. Thank you. Uh, that's the arrival. That's the that's where you want to <laughs> that's where you want to be, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. I'm glad to be here finally. Yeah, I, I got it. I, well, we love what you do, and uh, we've got a lot of fans out there that have enjoyed following you. But there's a lot of irons in the fire right now, and I want to get to some of those. Okay. Tell me about the uh, this thing that you're it's sort of a web. TV series, right? Tell me, how would you de define this? Yeah, you know, it, it was kind of pitched to me as a, as a web series, a five-part web series, which I guess is is kind of how these producers are now getting TV shows and movies greenlit, you know, uh, kind of like a pilot. And uh, so what it was is I got... Um, uh, contacted by an associate producer at MTV named Brian Ross who had this great script for a country web series and uh, I didn't know what a web series was I hadn't watched it but I, I didn't really realize that the people that are on Hulu and that are watching series online you know TV series Absolutely. and uh, it's just such a new media and such a new medium I'm really excited about it and so we went up and auditioned and and I actually got the leading part and uh, which is weird for me anyway and uh, so we shot in New York for three weeks and shot here for two weeks. And uh, yesterday we just found out it won the first film festival that it was put in out in uh, Beverly Hills. So we're excited to see what's going to happen. Man, I'm so pleased for you. I, I want to say that, A, I'm a huge believer in what the, the revolution that's going on with music, art, film, yeah. and the way it collides and all kind of lands and, and mixes up in the Internet. Uh, you know, you talked about how they're green lighting projects via... Uh, trying out series on the web, I, I believe there is going to be very little distinction between our television and our internet very soon. It's already yeah. there. Yeah, and you, you're starting to see that with like Apple TV and a lot of the stuff, you know, on demand, yeah. and, and, and people are already going that way. So I'm excited to kind of be part of this forefront of this little web series thing. So. Man, I, I can't wait to see it. I, I uh, yeah, I'm pleased. I, I've, I've got a little bit of the actor's bug in me, and uh, and of course, as a fellow musician, I, I guess I'm, I'm really going to watch what you're doing closely because I I'm, I'm I want to I want to see what I can learn from you. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> I, mean, I mean that. I really do mean Even that. Even if it's not what to do. <laughs> yeah, it may it may be the what not to do, right? Exactly, right. that's right. Well, Jeremy, also there's something that, and I saved this for sort of last, but uh, it's really touched my heart as I'm involved in a project that uh, benefits uh, our military men and women. Yeah. Uh, tell me what got you so you know, involved uh, with Wounded Warriors, among other projects? You know, uh, the Wounded Warrior project was something that, I come from a long line of military uh, men and uh, and women, and, uh, you know, it was just something where those those people are so strong, I mean, mentally and physically, to be able to go sacrifice that kind of a sacrifice away from their families, and it was just never something that, that, um, that I could follow, you know? And so I always wanted to make sure that I did what I could do to uh, support the men and women that do it. So, you know, I've done three USO tours now, going overseas, and we've been all through uh, Japan, Guam, Korea, Singapore, Diego Garcia, seeing all of our troops over there. Made a lot of friends, made a lot of fans over there. And um, you just, you, you won't find anybody uh, that, that really rallies behind these guys like country artists, you know? I mean, country supports uh, the men and women that are overseas. I actually just got, I, I wear a St. Christopher mm. that I've had for about 15 years yeah. that has been in the war uh, with five different soldiers and has come back every time. I just got it back after three years of it being gone. So, um, you know, when I got involved with Wounded Warrior, it was just something they're taking care of these 
guys that are coming home, these men and women that are coming home, and they have nothing when they get to the hospitals, you know, that some of them are missing limbs, and, yeah. and, and of course, you know, the mental ramifications that come with those, too. And um, they, they're, they give them backpacks full of just stuff you wouldn't think of, toothbrushes and a shaving kit and stuff to get them back into a home life, you know. And then uh, they do these soldier rides, which I'm, I'm playing um, hopefully all of them this year, which will be 12 and then 24 next year, where these guys and women go out and they will, uh, man, they're riding bicycles 100 miles, you know, uh, for their rehab. So it's amazing, and uh, I'm just hoping I can keep up with them where we start next month out in San Diego. So. They're going to shame you. Oh, man, I'm going to look so bad. I'm going to look so bad. So <laughs> The artist, the musician, yeah, yeah, the guys trailing. Like sweating whiskey at the back of the line. <laughs> Jeremy, it, it's amazing to, to see a young guy uh, as dedicated and as, uh, as wise as you seem to be regarding those issues. Uh, I've got a project that I, I want to invite you to uh, take a look at and then possibly help me with which is called Operation Sound Off and we uh, we uh, enable um, musical men and women of, of the armed forces to get back to their music through this project in other words if they park their music to serve and, right. and, and protect our freedom yeah. I felt that uh, uh, that they deserved an opportunity to get back to their instrument or their songwriting. Absolutely. And uh, we have a project, again, called Operation Sound Off, and, and it, it really asks of my fellow musicians that you help me get these guys back to their oh, music. I'd, love to. I'd yeah. love to. And I know, you know, I'm, I'm endorsed by Epiphone, too, and I know that they'd love to be a part of that, yeah. too. So. Let, well, let's, let's uh, when we go off camera, and, and let's make sure that we have a way we can get in touch. You got it. Because I know you're, you're, uh, you're, you're, you've got a, a perspective on this uh, issue that is real keen, and I, I really love seeing that. It means it moves me. It really oh, does. You. So, man, Jeremy, it. uh, man, it's much. great to catch up with you. It's it good really to be here, man. Out. It's good to be uh, seen and just hanging out at CRS, man. It's a blast. Yeah. Well, we, we support you 100%. Digital Rodeo, sitting here with Jeremy McComb, and uh, we're going to be right back right after this.